Uh, great to have you back for breakfast. Right, we're ending the week with a cooking segment, and appropriately, it's an Asian cooking segment because, of course, it is the Asian century, so Julia Gillard will be proud of me and all the production team. Now, here's an interesting statistic gleaned from a news poll survey of more than 1,200 Australians. Did you know that 50% of us have never eaten Indonesian fare? Apparently, 46% have never tried Malaysian food, and 40% claim that they have never had Japanese food. Almost everyone's had Chinese food. But here's the one that I found the hardest to believe. 33% of Australians were unable to identify beef vindaloo as coming from India. Joining me now is Jackie M. Jackie, how are you? Good, how are Cook you Cook and restaurateur, and you are very keen on promoting Asian food. Absolutely, food, correct. Were you surprised about that? The beef vindaloo thing to me seemed extraordinary. Uh, very much so, but to be fair, I get a lot of people get my cuisine confused with Thai. Even like last weekend, I had someone ask me whether I have kimchi. And yep. kimchi obviously is uh, Korean. So. Obviously, I know all about kimchi, <laughs> but for those that don't, what is it? It's a, it's a Korean pi uh, pickle, cabbage, Correct. yeah. Correct, that's exactly what it is. Um, right, you're going to make something for us very quickly now. Correct, that's Here's right. what, what, you start doing it, mm -hmm. um, and yep. as you do, answer this. You've got a tray of interesting items here. Correct. How many of these interesting items for these sorts of dishes are people likely to already have in their cupboards? Uh, not very many. Well, some of them they do. Garlic, onion, uh, lemongrass maybe. We've got cafe lime leaves ginger I'm using minced ginger here for expediency yeah, oh, um, obviously chili paste I'm um, shredded coconut turmeric and just uh, some seasoning like salt and pepper and cafe lime ah salt and yeah. pepper that rings a bell now <laughs> I'm gonna pestle this up what am I sure. what's in here that's just um onion yeah. and we can throw in some um, um, some of the other ingredients should just I just throw them all in or uh, no you yeah, wouldn't we'll, want to throw yeah. them all in would you we'll put some of it in and I'll get started cooking on the rest okay of it. so okay. this is a curry that's correct yep so it's a chicken rendang Mm -hmm. And it's a classic Malaysian dish. The thing about Malaysian food is that it's influenced from pretty much all over Asia because there are, I, I was told, 27 different Asian cultures alive Something and like well that. in Malaysia. That's right, yes. It's a very multicultural society uh, with um, the ethnic Malays, the Chinese getting and the Indians being the now. predominant races. I'm just getting a bit bored with this pestling. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's, two, it it's 2012 and we're using granite. <laughs> To Isn't be there honest, a machine that can do this? Uh, a food processor, which is what I use at home, but um, it makes for good TV, though, you got to admit. Yeah, no, true, true. All right, Let's so that, that goes in there with all those other things. That's now, obviously, right, yep. on our website, for the sake of people that feel that I haven't done my job properly and explained exactly what's going on, <laughs> on the website we have all the gubbins. Now, you've got another 22 seconds to finish the dish. Okay, no problems, easy. Let's just throw in the chicken. Yep. We're going to saute it. Yep. And it's... Basically, as easy as adding in some water. Yep. And some Gosh, coconut. It smells cream. beautiful, doesn't it? Yep. It's the flavours really come out as you sauté them. And you do pan. need to follow the recipes because it'd be very tempting to think, oh, I'll stick some of that in as well. But the flavours, even although it sounds like that's right. you know that, yep. that it's a little bit of everything, it's not. You've got to get it right. Haven't that's you? correct. Yes, that's right. And I have pre-prepared one over here. Exactly, um, and, and that's what it looks fantastic. like. You want to simmer it till it's cooked through and um, to a dry, a semi-dry consistency. And you know, it's a really nice thing you've got people coming around, banana leaves. Just serve it on a banana leaf. Absolutely. Brilliant. Yep. Jackie M, thank you very much for joining us. All the details on our website. We will be back to wrap things up very shortly. Thanks for your time. They look very hot. Oh, they're lovely. They look lethal. You need to try them. <laughs>